our preparation hunt for Monday. We got five stocks we're going to discuss for a play for Monday, like FRC, TNX, Coinbase, HUT, and Riot. So we have to make a strategy for all the stocks for today. We got FRC, as we said, the, the price actually jumped down after we have a huge pump, uh, after we got uh, great uh, news regarding uh, like the bank would be uh, covered with 100 billion from the government. That's why the price actually jumped then went down and now we got uh, a breakout zone should happen in monday tnx the same we have a bottom visited on friday above the 45 for riot hut and coinbase for three of them there's a potential squeeze uh, for the next week and the next month because bitcoin actually recovering and have potential to go to all-time high so let's discuss first frc the price went down held above the 24 you see what's happened here we have accumulation then in our live streaming what we said whoa there's a big seller around the 29.90 the price got rejected around our level of resistance and went down and guess what after we finish our live streaming in power hour is unfortunately is wasn't a power hour but a slow hour because the price actually went up again that's this ascending channel then went down below the 24 the current support before now is the resistance and we went down even after hours we went almost 16 or 15 uh, percent down and getting near the support or the double support around the $18. So what we should expect on Monday, because this is critical area for FRC. After the good news that we have, uh, after the jump you see here, we got great news about uh, financing the banking system with almost 100 billion worth uh, of uh, support for the banks that got uh, bankrupt like uh, SIVB. Even though with this kind of huge money injections in a banking system, the price is still continue to go down. You know why? Because it's still there is a fear in the market. You see what's happened? Even if we have money and everything is good and government actually secure those banks, the market and the traders is still don't have the confidence in the banking system. And you see the clearly that Bitcoin is jumping high. What does that mean? This is a clear indication that the market maker bought Bitcoin. You see what's happened? The price went down. Then after SIV bankrupt, you see what's happened? We have a V-shaped recovery for Bitcoin. This is not normal. After we got rejected here, I anticipated the price will go at least on the 18 and we might even go toward the 13,000. But the fundamental change, we got the banking system uh, uh, kind of collapsing. And guess what? The market maker bought here for Bitcoin because they think is the best better choice at the moment to put their money in Bitcoin rather than put their money in the, the banks and you see it clearly we have a v-shaped recovery and the price went up for Bitcoin but this is not our uh, uh, main concern right now for Bitcoin price now we have to discuss FRC price action on Monday what we should expect this is a critical area here double bottom and you see what's happened we have have a huge flag forming for FRC and there is a potential a breakout on Monday and what we're gonna have on Monday pre-market even before the market open we should have gapping up over the 2468 this is would be the greatest reaction for the market for FRC to have a squeeze to go toward 2990 where we got rejected before and we're gonna have the first cover up for the short seller for the price to squeeze around the 36 and the 41 okay so those two level of profit taken will be head first and the pre-market or one market open for FRC if only if we overcome this current resistance around the 2468 the other scenario we might see a gap down I don't like this kind of reaction because it already happened for FRC see we have the same scenario before huge selling pressure on Monday boom the price actually gapped down and then went up and again we have here a gap down boom then the price go up so here we don't want to see the same reaction that happened uh, twice before we don't want to have the price gap down below the 18 and then go up to the 18 and going below the worst case scenario as we said is below the 18 uh, if we open uh, actually at the same price that we close at we're gonna have accumulation then a test and a breakout from this flag this is will give us the, uh, the first signal and of course we're gonna do pre-market update especially on our discord because we always do short analysis update here and of course on our Patreon. Next up on our list, TENX. 
Okay, so this one is heavily talked about in Reddit. Wait a second, let me drink my holy water because when you talk a lot, you need to have a holy water, you know, because we have so many things to talk about today. Ah, tastes like heaven. Anyway, TNX, 3% down. We went near the 45, which is the support. The same reaction that happening for FRC, happening for TNX, uh, visiting an important bottom, which is for TNX is the 45 cent. Where we gonna have the squeeze after we have a breakout from the 60 cent or below the 59 to be exact. So after we clear this orange line around the 59, and of course, holding above the 45, we're gonna have a breakout and going higher next time toward the 89 and the $1.05. If we got rejected below the 89, around this level, the 75, this means we're not ready yet and we're gonna continue to go even lower. So the best case scenario, after we clear the 59, break in the 89 and continue to go over the $1. Next up, we got uh, Coinbase. Coinbase doing all right. We have a huge uh, jump for Coinbase and we didn't even go below this box, which is support for us, as we said, uh, for Coinbase. And the last earning was uh, pretty nice compared to the other earnings that we have uh, last year in November. You see good earning and re good revenue. At the same time, um, Coinbase actually uh, followed the same trend as Bitcoin. That's why we have a very shape recovery as well for Coinbase. Now we're gonna have a test for the 84. And after hours, we have a price jumped almost 4%. So we might see a pre-market uh, gap uh, toward the 84. If we open around the 84, we might see a test and rejection and going back a bit down, okay? Because the 84 is resistant. If we clear it without rejection, his mean Coinbase will have a continuation toward the 112. Watch out for this. HUT doing all right. We have uh, um, after hours gap for HUT and Riot. Both of them have the same reaction. HUT and Riot, as we said, is the same as Coinbase is follow the trend of Bitcoin. Now for HUT have a support over the $1.77, which is our current support. Current resistant and breakout zone is the $2.45. A profit taken if you already entered above this level. After we clear the $2.49, boom, we're gonna get the $3.65. Right. Oh, before we go to right, let me just discuss this. Uh, we got bad earning here for uh, HUT, but this is change nothing. You know why? Because the market sentiment is strong for crypto. That's why even with the bad earning, the price is still continued to go higher for HUT. So never follow or consider that the fundamental or even the earnings actually have a significant value on the price action. That's why I don't rely 100% on the fundamental. Right, the same reaction. We have bad earnings and good revenue. However, the price is still going higher. The support $7.25. Of course, the resistance is pretty near than HUT, which is $8.59. If we broke it, by the next week, Monday, we're gonna have the $10.20 for right. We're gonna do a pre-market update with our Discord and Patreon, of course, to discuss the stock that have potential to squeeze on the gap up. Like FRC and the TNX, we might see a huge gap. So that's why we have to do a pre-market update for them precise entry and exit for them and of course we're going to do live streaming 2 p.m ct 9 a.m eastern time thank you for watching hopefully you have a nice weekend and see you in the next update